Hello, my name is Fred Curtis. I'm the Director of Golf and Teaching at Isla del Sol Yacht and Country Club, beautiful sunny Florida in St. Petersburg Beach. Uh, I'm TPI certified and briefly want to, want to talk a little bit about TPI, which is the Titleist Performance Institute. Uh, we are able to identify some of the problems that you might be having physically that are causing problems in your golf swing. Uh, many, many years ago, uh, when we were trying to figure out what causes the golf ball to travel, goes distance, hit the ball straighter. Uh, the golf swing has been very well known for a number of years, but now we can identify what people have to do to get better at it. And one of the key things with TPI, which they've noticed and discovered over the years, and it really took off in 1997 when Tiger Woods first uh, came onto the stage, is the key thing to our golf swing is our core, our trunk area. That's where we get to drive the ball longer and straighter. So one of the things I'd like to talk about briefly today is how we move our lower body and a couple exercises that may help you get better. First of all, in the golf swing, what a lot of people tend to do, and we find out over the years that because they have bad backs, poor posture, they tend to go back and tend to straighten. Or when they come back down and through the ball, they tend to pull up and straighten up. So what happens there when we do most of our evaluations, we've realized that people are maybe weak in their back area, their glute area, or their ab area. And what they are not able to do is keep their posture. So one of the things that we try to do as we work on strengthening with them as we do our evaluation, and one of the exercises that I do with them, I first check to see if they can differentiate between their lower and upper body. Now all tour players, what they're able to do when we do their evaluation, they're able to keep the lower body very, very still, turn their shoulders, and create stability. What they're also able to do is keep the upper body very still and turn only from the hip area, keeping this solid. So what happens, they're creating stability here, and yet they're able to differentiate between their upper body and their lower body. The reason that's important, when we swing a golf club, as we bring the golf club back, the hips will actually restrict. So as the shoulders turn, the hips restrict. Many of you fight this in your golf swing. You have a tendency to turn your hips as much as your shoulders, or because your glute and ab areas are a little weak, you tend to go back and straighten up. So if you're able to be a little bit stronger here, as you go back on your backswing, you're able to keep the lower body more stable. And really the golf swing is nothing more than a whip. When we bring the golf club back, the lower body resists the upper body turn. And as we start our downswing, we want the lower to body start us first. And one of the things I tell people is we try to drive off that right leg and drive that knee to the target and the club whips through. And so you'll notice what I did, very similar to this drill, I did this. Restricted here, able to move here. And that's all the lower body and the hip area does in the golf swing. If we look at it, it restricts here. My first move down, as I drive, you see that slight turning in here. That creates a tremendous amount of speed. So if you're having trouble with your hit, hitting shots, or you're having a tendency to straighten up, fall back, work a lot on your core, work a lot on your trying to get out of this early extension, as we call it, and keep working on trying to keep your posture. One, one thing that might help you, put the club in front of you, keep this relatively stable, turn your shoulders back as far as you can, can go without hurting yourself and not raising up. And as you come through, let that right knee drive toward the target. And if you'll notice, I'm not doing this. And you'll also notice I'm not tilting. You don't want to try to get the, either one of those things in your golf swing. You create stability here, firing the lower body through. So basically, if you think about that in your golf swing, the golf swing is nothing more than a slingshot. You pull the club back, you're in a very coiled position, and then you're ready to let the quilt go. So I hope this will help you.